Hello everybody, welcome back. Right now we're doing example number three from section seven decimal two. We're going to sketch the graph of the function using a table of values. Um, so I'm going to show you this graphically and doing a table of values. So first I'll show you how to calculate it with uh, entering uh, these values. Now again, this is just, you would do this on a piece of scrap paper. So I'll show you how to calculate that. So we go to our um, calculator, not a graphic cal calculator, just our calculator here. Okay. So Clear the graph. All right. So, what we'll do now is we'll plug that uh, value in our function. So we'll go over to our sheet, and we have f of x equals x squared plus x minus 2, and we're going to fill in negative 4. Okay? So I'm going to show you what the sample calculation looks like here, what we're going to do on our calculator. And you only need to show one of these sample calculations, because uh, they're all the same, we're just changing the number. Okay? So, we write our equations down, and we're going to put an x at negative 4. Right? Everywhere we see x, we put a negative 4. Make sure you use your brackets, especially when you uh, have an exponent there. Oh, lost my exponent. Okay, make sure you put your brackets in, and it's also negative 4. Okay, again, this is a sample calculation of how we get the values from our table of values. And then I'm going to show you a much more efficient way. So a negative 4 squared is 16, plus a negative 4 is the same as subtract 4, subtract 2. So uh, 16 subtract 4, subtract 2 is 10. So that means this value in here in our table of values is 10. And I'm going to show you how to graph that in a minute on the uh, piece of graphing. So you continue to do that. I mean, I, I like this with mental math strategies, right? Plug this in. Negative 3 squared is 9, 9 subtract 3 is 6, and 6 subtract 2 is 4. And put in negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, 4 subtract 2 is 2, 2 subtract 2 is 0. Then put a negative 1 in, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 uh, subtract 1 is 0, 0 subtract 2 is negative 2. Okay, oh, didn't mean that one there. 0 squared plus 0 minus 2 is also negative 2. You start seeing a pattern here. Put a 1 in. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 subtract 2 is 0. You guessed it. If you're going to guess this is a, going to be a 4, you'd probably be correct. Put it in here. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 is 2. two or sorry, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 subtract 2 is 4. Uh, put 3 in here. 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 subtract 2 is uh, 10, and you see a pattern. You can do the last one, you're not going to need it, uh, but uh, you can put that in if you wish. Put a 4 in, uh, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus uh, 10, or sorry, 16 uh, plus 4 is 20, 20 subtract 2 is 18. So that one's not even going to be on our graph because we don't have 18, so we really don't need this one here, so we can just eliminate that, okay? Um, but it's, it's okay, it's not round. But you'll notice that these points here, and they're, also, they're symmetry right there. They're symmetrical. Okay? So we're going to graph these on, uh, I'll graph these on Desmos for you. Um, and you guys can just plot these on your graph. Okay? So they're fresh uh, Desmos graph. Um, I'm going to start right over. I like to keep it nice and clean. So graphing calculator, desmos.com, it's phenomenal. You can get the app as well. All right, and so we'll graph this. So the first point we had there was uh, we had negative 4 and 10. All right, I'm not going to label them. I'm just going to uh, put the graph there, right? Graph each point. And the next one we had was negative 3 and 4. And the next graph we had was negative uh, 2 and 0. And that's also an x-intercept, right? Because it crosses the x-axis. Uh, the next one we have is negative 1 and negative 2 as a point. So remember, we're just graphing these coordinates from here. Okay. Right here. Another graph. And 
and then we have our next point was at zero and negative uh, two. Oh, neg sorry, negative two, not positive two. And the next one we have is at one and zero. There's another x-intercept. And then we plot two and four. You see the symmetry coming on, right? And then the last one we need is three and ten. So once we have our uh, points, and we're going to do a nice smooth curve through. Obviously, the vertex is going to be down here a little bit less. All right. Once I graph my line, I'll, I'll plug that coordinate in for the vertex, and I'm going to show you how to calculate that manually. And I'm going to show you how to do it all on Desmos, which is uh, which is great too, and the graphing technology. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a curve uh, the best I can through that point. So remember, the vertex is going to dip down a little bit here. Um, if you want to calculate that point now, you can. Um, if you want to do it later, you can as well. But maybe, no, maybe I'll do that first. I'll calculate the vertex. Okay? So vertex. All right? So the vertex is going to be the value of the vertex, which is a coordinate, right? Okay, to get the x value, right, to get the x value of the vertex, we'll do that first. What you would do is you would take, uh, you can take any of these. We did it before, so it's the axis of symmetry, right? So any two y values that are the same, we take half, right? And you can see that it's going to be 0 to the 5. So you, take, you could take 3 and negative 4 and average those. You could take 1 and negative 2 and average those, or anything. it doesn't make a difference. But... You have to have two of the same y values to record the axis of symmetry, all right? So I'll do the two with the negative two, so it's going to be uh, negative one plus zero, and that whole thing is going to be divided by two. Which is going to be negative one divided by two, which is negative zero. Seven five. Right, so that's the x value of the uh, vertex. Okay, um, and I'm going to teach you a way uh, once we get into this another way to find that value of the vertex as well. And to get the uh, y value of the vertex, we just take our original function. Very simple. So to calculate the, uh, let me get this first. So to calculate the y value of the vertex, all you do is take your original function, f of x equals x squared plus x uh, minus 2, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to fill in our x value, the vertex, we used finding symmetry. And we found it at negative 0, doesn't 5. Oh. Sorry, negative 0 decimal 5. Right? That was our x value we were given. So everywhere we see that, we put in negative 0 decimal 5. Negative 0 decimal 5. Right? And we just we just solve it, right? And that's going to be the y value. Right? Because f of x, f at negative 2 is going to give me the corresponding y value. So 0 decimal 5 squared would uh, make it positive, so it'd be 0 decimal 2 5. Subtract 0 decimal 5, subtract 2, so that gives us, let me calculate that, it's going to give us negative 2 decimal 2 5, okay, slightly below, which we would have, you know, we could have estimated that. So the vertex, so the coordinate, uh, See that? So the coordinate of the vertex is, and the x value is negative 0 decimal 5, and the y value is negative 2 decimal 5. And again, I know you said, it, I know I said I don't like decimals, but those decimals are okay uh, because they're, uh, they're exact, right?
So now we're gonna, I'll, I'll put that point in my graph as well on Desmos, like as I, as I was graphing there. So uh, negative zero decimal five, comma negative two decimal two five. You see that dot's coming in there uh, now. That's my vertex value. So, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. And then we'll draw a nice smooth curve through all the points. No, take your pencil off at all. Just draw the best you can. All right. So I'm going to draw a nice line through there smoothly. And there we are. Okay. At all the points, and you can see that coming through very nicely. All right, and there's the vertex, <clears throat> and you can label some other of the coordinates there if you want to from your graph. These ones are a little close, so we get them in. Yeah, perfect. And there's all your coordinates. You don't have to graph them all as long as you have a table of values there. Normally, what we do is we'll put a couple of form points in, right? And there's our graph for our graph that we did. Now, again, I'll do that with you on the board. Uh, when we do that, okay. But that's how you do it with the table of values, manually entering it in, right? So you just put all of them. Now again, I only showed one sample calculation here. That's all we needed for the four. All the calculations are done the same way. Um, I got a few, uh, a couple more minutes left in this video. So what I'm going to do is going to show you how to find this. This one's really nice because it gives you some nice numbers here for the x values. And again, you'll pick those. So I'm going to show you do this on the graphic technology as well. So go to a graphic technology. I'm going to do second function plus 712. That clears the RAM. Okay. We're going to go to y equals. Put our, our function in. Remember y equals the same as f of x equals. Put in an x squared plus x um, what was it? minus 2. So subtract 2. We graph. There's the equation we graphed before. And what we can do is we can hit second function table. And you'll notice it gives us all those values, which is nice, right? See the negative 4 and 10, negative 3 and 4, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 2, 0, and minus 2, 1 and 0, 2 and 4, 3 and 10, 4 and 18, which is awesome. Okay, show you another quick way to find the vertex as well. Because the vertex is not necessarily going to be in your table, right? Of uh, values. So to find the vertex, you see your graph again. You go second function, calc. And you'll see this minimum value. So if we hit three, that'll take us to the minimum. We have left bound. So we go to the left side, just using your left cursor. Anywhere. Hit enter. It, it'll draw a vertical line. Go right bound. Uh, anywhere right bound, hit enter. It'll say guess, hit enter for a third and final time. And remember that vertex value we had was negative 0 decimal 5 and negative 2 decimal 2, 5. Hit enter for a third time and boom, there it is. Now, you'll notice that the X sometimes will have like a decimal negative 4, 999. That's uh, just because where it's pixelated, it might not be perfect. Um, but that would, uh, that is exactly uh, negative 0 decimal 5. I don't know why it does that. But I mean, Desmos, I love it. Because uh, you just click on it and there it is. Okay. So that is how you use a table of values to graph a quadratic function. And remember the minimum value is the least value of the dependent variable. Okay? Right? The dependent variable. Which is the y value. Okay? Right? It's the y value. So the y value here. Negative 2 decimal 2 5. The y value of the vertex. We calculated. And I showed you how to do uh, graphing technology and as well manually. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll finish up with example four for the word problem. Hope everybody's enjoying the videos. Have a great day. Thank you.